Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I asked over on Instagram what kind of videos you guys would like to see on my channel because I had like two I hadn't planned for this month and a lot of people said either decorating or day in the lives. I don't know if they don't follow my day in the lives over on our other channel but I just thought hey it's been a while since I've thrown one on here so we're gonna go do some thrift store shopping. There's still a few pieces I'm needing for my house so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that we get lucky today then I'll show you a haul when we get home and then I'll show you where I put them in my house so we're gonna thrift store shop we're gonna do a haul and we're gonna decorate so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so let's go ahead and get straight into it This was actually a different thrift store. I know I've shown you guys like a lot of like Goodwill hunting and stuff like that. We normally go to Goodwills, but this was a different thrift store we hadn't been to. And I was super impressed. I'm gonna show you a haul at the end of this video, but I wanted to just show you some of the treasures we were finding throughout the store. Some kind of magical woman, my Okay guys, that store was awesome. So if you're local, go to Quality Thrift Store in Tulsa. So when you first go in, I thought the prices were a little high, like on the home stuff. Like you can tell they get Target leftovers. Um, but we found some really good stuff. Like I said, I'll do a haul when we get home, but I was looking at their shoes. I got distracted away from the home decor. I found these Steve Madden sandals. These are like $50 everywhere. I got them for $5 and I got some other name brand shoes, which I'll show in the haul, but um, there's another store. A subscriber had told us about $5 gold diggers and we happened to look and it's just a few doors down from this one. I feel like I'm like in heaven in the shopping center. So we're gonna run in there and see what we can find in that store now. If you like this style of video, especially like shopping on a budget or buying second hand, I will start my like garage sale shopping video soon. We just couldn't do it with like the illness and then it was winter, but it's finally getting warm again and our dance competitions are done for the summer. So I'm super excited to get out and just see all the goodies we can find. So if you like seeing videos like this, there will definitely be more of them coming soon. Been a fool to live without your love It's like I've been waiting all around for you Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting around for me Okay, so like the, what was it, $5 gold digger kit yeah. called? They were closed, but we'll have to come back on another day. They were closed like the next three days. Um, and then we went into that antique like mall area just because we were so close, but it was way too high. It was all antiques. <laughs> so and now we're going to go ahead and find another thrift store. Hopefully there's some goodies waiting on us. That first store has me like on a high. <laughs> I can't yeah, wait. We got some good stuff. We got some really good stuff there. I can't wait to show you guys. What's really cool about like garage selling or thrifting or going to consignments is 
you save a ton of money not buying it brand new, but you also get one of a kind pieces, which I love. It's pieces that you don't normally see or expect. We ran into this store and doesn't that look like my coffee table I had a few back that I painted white. I saw that base and I'm like, I've seen that coffee table before, but mine had like a marble top. But we found some really good stuff. You'll see right here, I have a bag full of goodies. We're gonna go to Goodwill, that's our last stop. And then I'm gonna take you guys home and show you a full haul of everything we bought. Okay guys, we are back home and we were about to unload everything so I can show you guys like a full haul of everything we bought. But we actually stopped by a store because I needed a new snake plant for inside our bathroom. <laughs> and it actually spilled, I don't know if you guys can even tell with the sunlight, but it works out perfect because Hoover actually sponsored this part of the video, so thanks to them. Let me go grab the vacuum so I can show you how well it works. What I like is I can use it inside, but it has attachment, so if you need to use it in like your car, and since there's no cord, I can just bring it out here and vacuum it out real quick. So I'm gonna unload this, grab the vacuum, and then we'll get this clean. Okay, so I've talked about this vacuum before because you guys always want to know a really budget-friendly stick cordless vacuum. This is your guy. I've tried out so many and typically when you're paying a lower dollar amount, you lose the suction. Like that's where it kind of falls short. This works just as well as all my other like super high-end vacuums. <laughs> so I'm super impressed with it. Um, this is like easy to take off and like dump out once it gets full. Plus it comes with all these attachments. So I can either add these attachments on to the end of this like stick, or I can take this all the way off and attach these to this handheld part and use it in my car, on the sofa, wherever you need to. So I just love this guy. And like I said, it's a budget friendly. The only difference I can find this compared to like my other vacuums, which I can't say what they are. You guys know what it is. It's just a little bit heavier. Like that is the only difference. It works just as well. Um, this even has a really cool light on it. So when you're vacuuming, the light comes on and I find that so helpful, especially at night and the evenings. I feel like my other one, I miss things because I can't see underneath furniture or in like corners. This lights it up and I can get it. So I'm super impressed with this. Let me show you how it works out in the truck real quickly. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Okay, you guys saw how quickly right there it vacuumed it up. And I feel like cars can be really hard to vacuum sometimes. And here it is all in the canister. That's all the dirt that got dumped out of my plant. <laughs> so if you're in the market for a really good and affordable stick cordless vacuum, this is the guy, hands down. I grab this all the time to vacuum with and I love it. So I'm gonna leave their link down below in my description box. And thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring this part of the video. But now let me take you inside so you guys can see my shopping haul. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do a shopping haul. Sorry for the boys. I think they just had a treat down here and they're getting like every crumb that they can find. I'm gonna start off with the first store because I felt like we did the best there. Now all of this isn't home decor related because I got a little sidetracked, but I did pick up this guy which I thought would be really cute in my office. Either on my shelf when you first walk in, but I'm thinking my desk because I never know the date. And especially now that Chase is home, but I thought this was just a cute way. It has the black and the gold. Um, excuse me, George, <laughs> what you doing? Um, so I can't wait to decorate with that. 
And then while I was there, I got really lucky on shoes. So it's really nice to have rain boots around here because our backyard gets so flooded and it rains a lot. I saw these coach rain boots and thought, oh, they're gonna be way too expensive. They were $12.96, so they were $13. So now when I'm out in our money backyard, I actually look stylish doing it, so I picked those up. And then you guys saw these. I cannot believe I got these for $4.98, and they're even the Steve Madden brand, so it's not even like they're a knockoff. I cannot wait to wear these. I'm actually gonna put them on today. It was actually colder and it's warming up, so I'm gonna wear these here in a little bit. And then I got a few clothing items, which I'm gonna go and show, because it's a shopping haul. I got this for, look, new with the tags on. I thought this would be really cute with like my ripped up shorts that I'm kind of going with the look this year. And it was only $6.98. I think the rest of this is all Savannah's. This was $2.98 for her to wear. This was $2.98. It's just like a dance top for her to have, um, to wear to dance all summer. And then I picked up this really cute romper for her. It was only $3.98, and I thought that was super cute. I wanna say, yeah, it's Cat and Jack. So a lot of the things they had there was like from Target, you could tell. And then we had a few, we had a few hits and we had a few misses, but we also, this was more like a consignment place. Like, you know, they had booths, so like people rented out booths, but I picked up these and they ended up both being new was like a table runner. I don't know if I'll use it inside here, but I was thinking outside um, on our patio because we have so much black out there. So I'm gonna try that. And then I picked up this rug. I saw it. Once again, it was new with tags and I just loved the design of it. So I'm gonna find a spot for that. Both of those things were $10, but I thought it was nice. They were brand new. And then we ran by Goodwill and I picked up two books for Savannah. She loves these American Girl doll books, if you guys have kids her age. But I saw this basket. I'm a sucker for baskets. I don't know if I'm gonna put this right here at my coffee table, it matches it perfectly, but it was only $4. So sometimes I use these for like dog toys. I use this to throw like decor in. These are really good to grab if you buy gifts, like a wedding gift. It's really cute to throw in a basket instead of a bag, so then they have it for like storage. So anytime I get a gift that we're going to like a shower or something, so I can even save this for an event like that. And then the last thing I got was my snake plant that spilt over. Obviously this isn't thrifted or second hand, but if I could buy those second hand, I would. Um, and then I picked up this basket. It was like around $14 for it um, for my bathroom. I used to have a plant there and then I moved it somewhere. I think it's on my kitchen table. So I just needed to put one back. So now we're gonna move on to the next section of today's video, which is decorating. So everything that I bought, I'm gonna go ahead and put where it belongs. So let's get to decorating. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna put out is this. I'm gonna open it up because I think it's gonna look really good outside because I have so many like black prints out there. So let's take this outside and see what it looks like. I wanna let you know. Oh, you're the only one for me. I think it's really common for people to think when you're like thrifting or garage selling, everything's like used and old, but that is not the case. So many people buy stuff and just never return it and then they go to sell it. So just like this table runner, also like that rug, those are brand new with the tags, even that shirt I bought. So if you think it's just like old used stuff, it's not. That's why you have to get out there and see what you can find. That
Okay, so I love this table runner out here. I think it helps because I have this like wood planter on top of my wood table. It kind of breaks it up. So super happy with that purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Hoover vacuum. Not that I have to, but this has gotten really dirty. We've had some rainstorms. There's even some bugs and dirt on it. And I didn't get to show you guys like it actually is a vacuum, like a stick vacuum. So I'm gonna grab that and vacuum up this rug real fast. So I've talked about this vacuum before, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that um, video down below in my description box. It's like a nighttime cleaning routine. Just in case you wanna know a little bit more detail about it, I do go more in depth in that video. So if you're still on the fence about it, but you're needing a vacuum, definitely click on that video after watching this one and you can learn a little more. Here's a little peek of my sandals. I love them so much and it's probably still my best find of the day. Okay, next up we have this beautiful rug which George and Tiger are modeling for you. <laughs> but I can't decide if I want it like over here when you walk in or if it would look really cool in Savannah's bathroom right here by her sink. So I'm gonna try both spots and then we can decide which one we like better. And I will say I'll use like rug tape to tape it down so it doesn't move at all. And I know some of you guys are like, it's white, it's by the front door. I wash my rugs all the time, so it's just kind of part of the game. <laughs> but it would also look great, like I said, right here in Savannah's bathroom. So I'll try it in there too, just to see what that looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think about it in here? I kind of like it. It adds just something to it. Plus she'll have a rug right here by her sink. And the gray that's in the rug is actually the same gray in her shower curtain. So I'll show you what it looks like from another angle. So I might leave it there for now and you guys just let me know down below in the description box. Do you like it in the bathroom or by the front door? So next up, we're gonna talk about the basket. So I wanted to show you, like you can store toys in it, whether it's like dog toys or your kids' toys. I also think they're fun to decorate with like this. I just have like a throw and some pillows in it. I feel like they can serve as so many functions. You could have them in a closet with like towels, um, anything, cleaning supplies underneath the sink, especially when it's only $4. I feel like this matches my coffee table really well though. So I'm thinking about just like sliding it right here for overflow so it just like blends in and I can hide something down there that doesn't need to be seen. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, and just in case you're wondering like, Ashley, what are you gonna put down there that you don't want out like on the coffee table? It's so big. Stuff like Kleenexes, we have to have in Oklahoma with allergies and people coming over and chasing Savannah, but I don't like it setting out because they're not the prettiest thing. So I can keep stuff like that just tucked away in this basket. If we need to grab them, they're close, but they're not like out here just messing up my design. The books I'm gonna go ahead and just Lysol down and put in Savannah's room. And then as far as clothes, I'm gonna remove all the tags and I'm gonna stick them in the washer before I put them away. I always like to do that when I'm buying secondhand, even in stores now. Like if I pick up something new, typically I take off the tags and wash it, but I've done that even before everything hit. I just like to get it clean before it goes in our closets. And then I'm gonna stick these just outside in the garage because that's where I keep like my rain boots. Sees, 
Since I had the disinfectant wipes out already, I decided to go ahead and wipe down my rain boots. They're just going out in the garage, but they have been out being touched, so I just thought it was smart to go ahead and disinfect those. And then, like I said earlier, I'm gonna take all the tags off so I can throw these in the washer. Um, anytime anything comes in like this, I just do it on a hot load just to make sure everything gets nice and clean. Now I'm going to finish just putting away a few items and throwing all these tags in the trash and then we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, and lastly is the snake plant. So I love these plants. They're all throughout my house. It's like the only thing I can keep alive. So if you're wanting a live plant in your house, definitely go with the snake plant. I bought this basket. If I could have found one used, I would have totally bought it. Just keep that in mind. All they did was line it in plastic. Another thing is when I get these plants, I don't take it out of the pot. I'm sure you can, but mine do so well just by like, leaving it alone. All I do is take this and drop it into something else. So I'll show you the few that I have, but this one I'm just gonna put in this basket. This plant, literally, see, it's still in its tin while it fell out, but it's in there. I just set it down into this pot and they have no issues. Here is another one and like I said, it is still in its base down <laughs> in the planter itself. So I know a lot of you with green thumbs are gonna write and be like, you, it'll do better if you take it out <laughs> or um, it'll do fine. I don't jinx myself, it does so well. I water these like once a month and they are getting so tall. They're so good for where you sleep and where you breathe, it just cleans the air. So definitely look into getting some like live plants for your house. But also just to have a good balance, I have fake plants too. I have one here, here, there, here, also right here, 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 and Savvy even has a fake snake plant in her room because she doesn't want a real plant. Okay, so now we're gonna put this plant just in this basket and then I'm gonna go put it in the bathroom so you can see what it looks like. There is something about green plants and wicker. I just love the combination. So I love the color and the elements it's bringing into the space, but it's also really big. So I might flip this with the one on my dining room table and see if it looks better, but it kind of makes me sad because I really do love this wicker in here. I'm just wondering like, is it too big? I mean, it's a pretty grand space. So I think it could handle it, but I just want to flip it before I say yes. So honestly, I mean, I like the size of it in here, but I like this black being in here. I feel like this is just a little too matchy-matchy with the wicker, and I already have that dark wicker in my living room, so I'm gonna go out and flip it back. Okay, so I think for now I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. It is a little big for the area, and maybe I'm just used to like the smaller plant when it was there but I do love like the element it's bringing in, like the wicker and the green. 
Don't be shocked in my next cleaning video if it's moved, but for today, <laughs> that's where it's gonna stay because I think I like just having some green in here. Okay, so let me know. Did you guys enjoy the style of today's video? So when I asked over on Instagram, you asked for more like day in the life, vlog style. And I know I put videos out like that over on Ashley and Chase vlogs, but maybe you guys wanna see them here. So definitely let me know down below in the comment section so I know what to film for you guys and what style you want me to film them in. And then thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring today's video. Once again, if you guys are looking for a really budget friendly stick cordless vacuum it's the one you guys will love it i'm gonna have that link down below in the description box i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you in the next one bye, bye.